Today we're going to finish your birch tree painting and the first thing we need to do is take off the masking tape. So you will be taking and holding the paper with one hand and grabbing the top of the tape and just pressing it, pressing your fingers against the paper and going very slowly so you don't rip the paper. You just peel back the masking tape. Now if it starts to rip like that, stop. This one has to come off this way. This one started to rip a bit, so now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to come from the other side. Pull it straight down toward you. Oh good, I got that little piece off. And then just wad it up into a bundle there and you continue to do that with all of your trees. It's probably a good idea to put, take the branches off first if you made a branch because that's the top layer. Now hopefully you didn't get a lot of paper peeling off on the tape but sometimes it does and if that happens then you just start it from the other side and hopefully it won't all peel off. There we go. This needs to go into the regular trash. Then you're going to take a container of the black watercolor paint. There's a sponge in there too that I've saturated and you're going to use a, an empty gift card and you press that against the watercolor paint in there and it gets on the edge. And Then do a couple practices on your practice sheet and you can do the other side too and that's what's going to make the markings on your birch trees. So we're going to go like this, dip it on there, and I like to hold my paper while I do this, and I get it on the very edge and then I just scrape that toward, and sometimes I flip it over to get the paint from the other side. If it doesn't seem like there's enough, make sure that you press it down a little harder. Go all the way down the tree. Some are going to be real short, some will be longer like that. Then turn it around. I like to do it, I like to turn it upside down. You could, I suppose, whatever way works for you is fine. And sometimes I turn that over because I know that there's more paint on there. I think the more I press it down to the bottom there, I get a little bit more paint. You can always go back over it again. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Hmm, that's a good one too. I'm really pressing it down hard on that sponge. Now the branch, I'm going to try to not get it on the regular tree trunk. And then do that with all of your trees. And that, then you put it on the drying rack and you've completed your birch tree painting then. These need to be wiped off. You can just take your rag and wipe them off. Make sure that the cover goes back on the black watercolor container. 